Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Confirms Awareness. This lesson is very similar in nature to Enlightenment 1's Lesson 8, Everything Confirms Presence. The difference being that right now we're going to utilize our every single experience as a reflection, as an immediate proof, as an immediate confirmation of the fact that we're aware. Why repeat the same idea? Again, because one of the key concepts of all my teachings, underlying all of my teachings, is the principle of always and already. So, this is the principle of already and always, in a sense. Because what we start to notice is that we can utilize our everyday experiences as a reflection, as a reminder, as proof, as confirmation of that which we seek for in this course, which is to gain greater familiarity, to become more convinced of awareness being our nature, being who we are. So, it's very crucial if we want a constant teacher, if we want to really accelerate our understanding and our embodiment of the ease, of the freedom, of the spaciousness that is awareness itself, the true I, I identity. To really collapse that I back onto itself so that I, or awareness, becomes self-awareness, or I, I. I noticing I, I becoming realized in I then there is no more immediate, faster, complete way than to utilize your every single one experience as the teacher, as the mirror, as the reflection. So, what do we do? We simply, again, as always, relax, take a deep breath and relax for two to five seconds. Give away your thoughts and notice the clarity, the spaciousness of the awareness that you are underneath and behind all your thoughts, so to speak. Now notice this awareness. And now you start bringing this awareness, which you already are, into everyday life experiences. For example, this is an everyday life experience. I'm talking to you, you're watching this video, or you're listening to the audio. So utilize this experience as a confirmation of awareness. So what we do is we simply shift our understanding of an experience around. It's like, again, like flipping over the card of experiences. On one side of the, of the playing cards, every card looks different. Every story looks different. Just like in your life, every story has a different image, has a different story to tell. But if you flip over that card, every single unique story all shares the same background. They all share the same backside. They all share the same fundamental underlying principle. In the case of your everyday experiences, that principle, as we're discovering right now, is not only presence energy, which makes up the experience, or which forms the energy from which the experience can be created, but right now we're going to apply that to the awareness realization. So, I'm talking to you in this video or audio file, and you are aware of this file. You are aware of this experience. You are aware of this conversation. So simply, instead of only noticing the conversation, instead of only noticing what I'm saying, instead of focusing only on the story of my words. Also simultaneously, or even more so, especially for the purpose of this lesson, recognize the very fact that you're aware of this experience. And then recognize that this experience confirms that you're aware. So it's absolute solid evidence that you cannot escape your own awareness, that you cannot already be what you truly are, that the I, the absolute infinite I, awareness, the ultimate free agent of the actual absolute, of the actual infinite, is always here. It's already here. It's already perfect. It's already established. You're already enlightened. Allow everyday experiences, everyday appearances, to become rock solid, very easy, very obvious, very joyful, very playful confirmations of the fact that you are already what you're looking for. You are already the great awareness that all these spiritual teachers of all times have spoken about. You are that awareness. You are already aware of my voice. You are already aware of this moment. 
Now start utilizing every single experience in that way by not only recognizing so much the angle, hey, I am aware of this experience, because you've already done that and you continue to do that naturally, but see it from the angle of the experience being a confirmation of the fact that you were already aware before you even noticed it. Can you see the power in this? Can you see the immediacy of this? Can you see how this undermines any idea you might have in awareness not always already being here? Or any belief that you might have that you are not always already perfectly enlightened and awake and aware? Perhaps you believe that awareness is always here, but perhaps you don't believe that you are that awareness. Similarly, you can, if that's the case, you can use this experience in the same way. You can use this experiment, this practice in the same way. Simply notice that every single experience that arises confirms that you exist, confirms that you're aware, confirms that you're aware of it, confirms that you are here to recognize it. So every experience shows you, proves, is solid evidence of the fact that there must be something that is already present for the experience to arise within or to. Now this quote unquote something, which really is closer to a nothing, is what we would call awareness, that spacious, free, empty awareness. So use every time, every time there is an experience that allows you to become aware of the fact that you exist, start using that moment, start milking that moment, start serving that wave of that moment of clarity, of that moment of having become conscious again of the fact that you are who you are and that you are part of this academy and that you are in this uh, practice at this time, that you're following this lesson, this course. And as soon as any experience triggers that type of self-awareness or remembrance, see in that moment that that very experience confirms awareness. In other words, what I'm saying is, that every time you become naturally self-aware, even if it's for a brief moment, every moment that you start to naturally recognize that you exist and that you have the ability to choose where to place your attention in that moment, at every single one of these moments, for the purpose of this lesson, simply notice that awareness was already aware of what occurred and that the experience you're having is absolute proof that awareness is perfect, already established, and it's in fact who you are or what you are. This is a very powerful, in my experience, very powerful practice to actually undermine any doubts you might have again regarding your enlightenment. Because this is one of the nastiest beliefs in the history of spiritual seekers, which is I am not already what I am. I am not there yet. I am not enlightened yet. If only I was more like the Buddha. If only I was more like Jesus, if only I was more, etc. So many spiritual seekers, including myself in the past, continuously beat themselves up over this idea of becoming enlightened, becoming self-realized. And this is such a sobering, perfectly mundane, obvious, crystal clear, yet undeniable practice and confirmation that if there is an experience in your field of awareness, then there must be that field of awareness. In other words, every single mundane little experience, including the thoughts that suggest you're not enlightened, are experiences reflecting awareness back to itself. Letting you know by the very fact that they appear that you are aware of them already with no effort whether you try to do anything about it, whether you try to maintain awareness or not, you were and are and always will be already aware of whatever arises in this moment. Let this experience, or rather this experiment, this shift in attention, this flipping over the card of experiences, let this show you that by every arriving appearance, it is absolute proof of what you're already looking for. If you allow this to be your permission symbol, in a sense, to completely relax into the knowingness that what you're looking for, which in this course just so happens to be the I or I awareness, is already the case. It's inescapably here. You can't get rid of who you are. You can't become, in that sense, more of who you are. You can become more aware of the fact that you're already aware, 
but you cannot, essentially speaking, become more awareness. Awareness is already here. It already noticed me speaking before you even recognized what my words were actually conveying. There are sounds in your environment right now, most likely. There are sensations in your body right now, most likely. You're effortlessly registering all these impulses, all these sensations, all these appearances that are part of awareness's self-dreaming creation or projection without you having to necessarily be focused on all those details. In other words, every single experience that you've ever had or ever will have, including the ones you're unconscious of, are already registered by this effortless, shall we say, field of expansive, free, inescapable, already present, all-inclusive awareness, which is synonymous with you. So again, the purpose of this practice is twofold. One, it's simply to have a really fun, enjoyable, confirming experience of awareness to increase the clarity with which you recognize, are able to recognize in everyday moments that awareness is always already here. So you become more convinced of it. And the second purpose is to undermine any lingering beliefs you might still have at this point in the fact that you are already awake. The fact that you are already perceiving, you are already perfectly perceiving as much as you'll ever be perceiving. You are already the perceiver. You are already the principle of seeing, of being, of perceiving, of witnessing, of being aware. You already are that principle. There's nothing you can do to remove that. There's nothing you can do to add to that. Not really. Like I said, we can play within this awareness and different, have different levels of awareness of awareness. But that fundamental essential awareness is unchangeable. It's because it's actually outside of time. It's beyond time. It includes the experiences of time. But the awareness which recognizes the experiences of time is itself beyond time. Therefore, it has to be changeless. It has to be eternal. And it is. It definitely is. And in order for you to be able to experience yourself more fully, in a more convinced, grounded, effortless, enlightened way, as this awareness that we're all talking about, that you are speaking of, that you are studying at this moment. Simply use every appearance that you can, that you are conscious of in that moment, as a permission slip to see that it confirms the effortless natural state of existence itself, which equals you itself, or you yourself. So, as you might have guessed, the homework for this lesson is simply to do just that. To go out into everyday life and to have fun with this. To actually realize your immortality. To realize your freedom. To realize your effortlessness. Your ease. Your spaciousness. By means of reflecting awareness back off of the experiences that arise within it. Or to it, if you wish. To put it that way. So use everything that you have. Use every appearance that comes up for you in this way and it becomes fun to be alive it becomes fun to go to to your work uh, place to your job it becomes fun to be in a relationship it becomes fun to not know who you are it becomes fun to think you're not enlightened because all these appearances all these beliefs all these thoughts all these circumstances all these events they are all appearing to awareness they're all confirming that by the very fact that they appear to you you must already be awake and aware Start using as many moments throughout the day as you can in this particular light, in this particular way. And I promise you, this search for enlightenment will very, very swiftly end. And conviction will replace this effortful seeking that you might still hold on to on some level of your being. I can honestly say this has been one of the most profound and cutting through illusion kind of realizations that I've had on my own journey that really, really... Um, relinquished the need for seeking that really really allowed me to let myself off the hook to not beat myself up anymore about this vain idle curiosity about being enlightened or not being enlightened the searching for it in that particular tense way stopped as soon as I realized that everything could be utilized as a confirmation of the presence and the awareness that I was looking for 
So go out in everyday life, use as many moments as you can in as conscious and as clear way as you can to confirm that which is already conscious and already clear, even before you recognized it. And then I want you to, at some point before your next lesson, write down two or three paragraphs on the observations that you made throughout your practice of utilizing experiences as confirmations of awareness. Just write down statements to yourself as facts, as truths, as the realizations, describing the realizations that you had while performing this practice, this exercise, this experiment. And obviously it'd be awesome if you could share those paragraphs and or your challenges and questions with other people of Trinfinity Academy, other adepts, other members in the appropriate study group that goes with this lesson. And also for your convenience, we have added below this video in text form the, um, the text of Enlightenment 1, Lesson 8's Everything Confirms Presence text. And we've made some tweaks, changing the word presence here and there to the word awareness, so that you can simply read through it again, but now apply it to this different, subtler state, quote unquote state, of your true nature, of your self-realization. But the same text, the same principles of always already still apply and the same idea of using everything that you can as your teacher, as your guru, as your confirmation of what you're looking for, as the reflection of what's already here so that you undermine and release all those doubts and can actually start to relax and enjoy and be at ease in your everyday life experiences, knowing that you are enlightened, knowing that you are free, knowing that you are awareness, knowing that you are timeless, knowing that you are immortal, knowing that you are indestructible, knowing that your true nature will always be here, knowing that your true nature is always reliable and that this is who you are. You can actually bring that into everyday life experiences with you. If you apply this practice over and over and over again, and very swiftly, it will transform your whole view of enlightenment. So simply read through this text again, even though you've already read through it in the previous course, but now apply it to awareness, just to gain that additional subtlety, that additional clarity, that additional opportunity using that text to reflect back to yourself once again, this that is always already true. Enjoy, have fun, and uh, report. Let us know how it goes.